not least, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Abasibia Kitina. If you are new here, welcome, welcome to Unscripted Life and thanks for tuning in. To my OGs, the Unscripted Tribe, thank you for sticking with me. I really do appreciate. Today, I will be discussing one of the basic communication skills, that is listening skills. I have a video on communication skills, but that one dealt with mannerism and how to behave when you are communicating with other people. I will put the card up here and also link it in the description box so that you can check it out after this if it is a topic that interests you. So let's jump right into the video. for emotional connection it is a fundamental need that can only be achieved through good communication of course there are different levels to communication the first one is passing on information the second one is sharing our ideas and opinions and the third one which is the focus of this video is being open about our opinion ideas needs and even our fears that bothers us actually for this level three it takes a lot of vulnerability and it requires trust and involves both speaking and listening good communication is multi-layered it involves our words our tone of voice our body language that is our mannerism i feel that good listening is one of the most important skills that we should acquire. It will help us in our work relationship, our romantic relationship, and even social relationship, which, which has to do with friends, family, and even our businesses. Listening has the great power to make the speaker feel loved and valued. It will make the speaker feel that you are an empathetic person there are so many hindrances to listening but i'm going to list just five because i'll also be giving five ways we can listen effectively the first one i'll be talking about is disengagement when you disengage when somebody is trying to speak to you it makes the person feel abandoned. In fact, the people that are mostly guilty of this disengagement are mostly people that love their own solitude, people that have this melancholy and phlegmatic temperament. There are people that have conversations in their own head. While you are talking to them, they are struggling between talking to themselves and replying themselves in their head and also listening to you to even give the necessary reply so when this set of people have a separate conversation going on they are distracted and in the process they disengage from the communication the second bad habit that hinders effective listening is unnecessary reassurance like you're constantly reassuring somebody who is trying to vent their negative emotions to you oh don't worry i understand how you feel have been there i've experienced it i've done this i've done that be a sponge soak whatever they are trying to vent allow them it's it serves as a form of relief allow them land before you can start reassuring them that you understand or that you you've been there the third bad habit that hinders effective listening is giving advice why don't you focus on listening first rather than focusing on giving immediate solution without even listening to the speaker? I think it's better you listen to the speaker without interrupting and trying to offer advice first. Get the point the speaker is trying to make and if necessary, you now offer advice. The fourth bad habit that hinders effective listening is interrupting when i mean interrupting i'm not saying interrupting to get the point 
but interrupting just to maybe give advice, interrupting to reassure, interrupting to do other things that will not help the communication. I feel that you should let the speaker finish saying what he or she has to say before you now interrupt. Even if you want to interrupt, it should be for clarification and not to prefer solution, not to give advice or not to reassure. If you keep on interrupting, it will prevent the speaker from saying what they are feeling. And when this happens, they eventually shut down. Some might even break down crying and not able to complete whatever they wanted to tell you. And then the fifth habit that hinders effective listening is going off the tangents. That means you are trying to change the trajectory of the conversation. It means the person's feelings are not valid. So you take off the conversation from what they are trying to tell you and set the pace and give it your own agenda. It's a very bad listening skill. Please don't indulge in it. Effective listening skill is not something we are born with. It's something that we have to learn. I know it's hard and it takes time, but we have to be intentional. It's part of self-discipline. We have to be intentional about listening. That's why we have two ears and one mouth. Let me give us five steps for reflective listening, like listening properly, listening and making the person feel loved, feel valued, and not feeling like their own opinions, their ideas, their needs are not valid. The first one I'll be preferring is try to put yourself in the person's shoes. When you put yourself in the person's shoes, you will be more empathetic. You will understand what the person is going through. It will make you keep your own opinion aside. It will make you keep your advice aside. It will make you keep your reassurance aside while the person is venting or while the person is speaking to you. When you do this, you will appreciate the person's feelings. And if you will give advice, I think you will understand better at the point of giving such advice. The next step to make them feel that you are engaging with them is that you have to acknowledge what they have said. When you have listened to the speaker and you have acknowledged what he or she is saying, you will have time to reflect properly and absorb whatever they are telling you. The third step is find out what is most important. This is the point you can interrupt. You can ask questions like, is this what you mean? Or is this what you are trying to say? Let me get the point straight. What is most important in all this? What is really the crux of the matter? What is it that is really bothering you? When you find out what is the point they've been trying to make, you will understand them better. The first step is help them work out a solution. By helping them work out a solution, you are not imposing your own solution. You are not imposing your own views or ideas towards them or your own opinion. What you are doing is you could ask questions like, okay, in all these, what area do you think I can help? What would you like me to do in this situation? Or what are you willing to do? Is there anything you want me to help you with? Or do you want my own opinion? Or do you want my own views about what you have said? And then finally, the last step is ask the speaker if he or she is done. Like, is that all the person has to say? Is he okay? Has he been able to, like clear his emotions by telling you everything. By asking this, it means that you've not already assumed that the speaker is done or that you know everything, you know the circumstances, you know the pains, you know what the person is referring to. So by asking this question, it means you are being involved, like you want the person to clear up whatever is bothering the person. So 
I have been able to tell us the five habits that hinders effective listening and I've also given us five steps that can help us to listen effectively. If you follow these steps and you are intentional about it, it will make you a better listener. I know that the steps are not exhaustive. So if you have any divergent views or you want to add anything, please make sure to leave it in the comment section. I want to learn from you in as much as you are learning from me. Let the lessons continue in the comment section. Please don't fail to like, don't fail to subscribe, don't fail to comment, don't fail to share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend that there is a fine girl on the streets of YouTube that wants to grow this unscripted tribe. That they should watch my videos, subscribe and become a member of the unscripted tribe. Until next time, be zealous and stay blessed. Bye people!